Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Karen Whiting. You can find me at karenwhiting.com online, also Facebook and other social networks. And today I'm going to be making some little apple nuggets. I make them kind of small, bite-sized, just as a tasty little treat. You can make them as full-size muffins and that's fine too. And I'm going to mix my dry ingredients separately from my wet ingredients. So I'm just open up my egg yeah, so it has one egg in it you need to mix well before you add the other things a quarter of a cup of milk and a half a cup of oil part of this is we really don't want to over mix a muffin or any type of quick bread that you make because that um, will not make for a good muffin <laughs> so I have one and a half cups of flour in here I already added a little bit of my nutmeg I love using nutmeg because my home state's Connecticut, the nutmeg state. Adding in a half a cup of sugar with my cup and a half of flour and three quarters of a cup of chopped apple. This time of year, September, October, I'm always thinking about apples and pumpkins and those nice fall produce that we can use. And I'm gonna add in a teaspoon of cinnamon. These are apple spice muffins. Uh, half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of baking powder to make those rise up. Actually, I already had one teaspoon in this mix. Just add it in the other. Mix this together, coat my apples with that flour. Uh, they'll get less mushy when you're cooking them. And I'm using the raw apple. I haven't pre-cooked it for this recipe. I like them to be a little crunchy in these little muffins. So I'm just going to mix this together long enough to get them wet, all moistened. I don't have to do anything further than that. I just want to make sure that they are totally moistened. So I'm going to pull up my flour from the bottom because I'm using a clear glass. You can kind of see, and I can see too if I have flour that's not mixed in. And I only have to do it enough to mix that. This is a pretty thick batter. And in fact, with this type of batter, I tell that they're done, not so much by using the toothpick test, as just making sure they're lightly browned. And when I'm cooking this, I have a little bit more liquid here. I cook the tiny ones 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees, but if you wanted to make larger muffins, you'd want to go 20 minutes or longer and just check and see how they're doing. So I can either put them in the paper liners, or these really come out easily in my uh, silicone pan, muffin tin with uh, just a little bit of oil that I just spray onto there. I use a little scoop to put in my muffin batter into here. And so once those, once those are all filled up, they'll be ready to cook. And let me talk about when they come out. When they come out, whether I have them in a paper or not, I want to coat them a little bit. And so I'm going to take melted butter, which needs to be stirred a little bit here, and dip that in. And I can dip it in brown sugar and cinnamon. It'll be a little bit darker there. Or I can dip the whole thing in, kind of roll it over if I don't have it in a paper, and I can either have not cooked it in a paper or take the paper off. Put it in a little baggie with white sugar and cinnamon and shake it up. And these will be a little bit sweeter, of course, where they're all coated with my sugar. And so they're just kind of a sweet little apple treat and very simple to make, doesn't take too long, doesn't take long to cook, but my children like them. My son who's filming was uh, munching on some of them just a few minutes ago. And you know, I like that these as little cakes that's what a cupcake or a muffin is in a way, is a little cake. And I think about King David after he brought back the Ark of the Covenant to the people in 2 Samuel 6, 17 to 19, we read that he gave fig and date cakes out to all of the people to celebrate the great victory and the greatness of having the Ark of the Covenant back with the people and not with the enemies or not in a place that it had been for a while. And so we always want to remember Jesus is with us and celebrate that every day. So when I wake up, I always think of 
Psalm 51.10 that says, Create in me a new heart and renew in me a steadfast spirit. And that's a great time to have a little bite of something sweet with my breakfast and just think about the sweetness of the presence of God with me. So may God be with you this week and enjoy something sweet, do something homemade, and have a great week. Thanks for